of sin. It's Friday night. It's Friday night. And uh, unless you're a homeschooler, every one of you has been in school this week. The majority of you. I know there's some adults out there. How many of you would be honest enough tonight to say something has tempted me to do something that I know is not right this week? Everyone in here has been tempted this week. I guarantee it. Now, by God's good grace... Maybe you've not acted upon that temptation. Brother Tanner's last point, sin waits. Can I tell you something? It'll be back next week. You told it no, and I keep using the it on purpose because it may be a thing or it could be a person. But you said no this week, but guess what? It'll be back next week. 
I said it will be back next week. And if you have enough grace to tell it no next week, it will be back the week after that. And the week after that. Some young preachers were riding in a vehicle with an older man of God in his 80s, Brother Kleiner. They were going down the road and one of the young preachers asked the old preacher, How old do you have to be before things won't tempt you anymore? The old man said, you'll have to ask somebody older than me. Just saying no is not going to be enough. You're going to need somebody bigger than you to answer the door. Because sin, life, at the door. And the Holy Ghost of heaven smote my heart while Brother Tanner was preaching tonight that somebody's dealing with sin. You are fighting a battle. And you feel like you are losing that battle because you have not enlisted a higher power. And in your flesh, Kenny Corn, you will fail. <laughs> but I'm glad there's a higher power. We are kept by the power of God. But you've not asked for any help. You've not asked for any help. How long do you think you can sustain the battle by yourself? You've not asked for any help. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and stand for just a minute. I am prepared to preach and may do so in just a moment. Ms. Karen, play again on that piano, please. But I am bothered in my spirit tonight that somebody or someone... is going to lose the battle and next year you'll be a casualty you'll be a sermon illustration instead of a participant somebody will be telling about you and you went the wrong way and you did the wrong thing and you got with the wrong crowd and you fell out these meetings are to help you look to Him to guard your door. The piano is playing and your heads are bowed and the altars are open. If you need to come and ask the Lord to help you face the temptations that you're dealing with, Right now's the time for seeing life at the door. Some are seeking some help from heaven. 
How about you? Bless you, young lady. Mom or dad, ma'am, sir, maybe you're the one facing that temptation. The Lord can help you not to become the victim of sin. Brother Moore, there must be something wrong with me if I feel the way I'm feeling. Paul said, For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would I do not, but the evil which I would not... That I do. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is more that I do it, but sin dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inner man, but I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, Who shall deliver me from this body, from, uh, deliver me from the body of this death? Then Paul answered, I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. got to get some help. You got to get some help to guard your door. Sin's on the outside. Sin's on the outside. I had to see these preacher boys in the altar because the sin that lieth at the door destroy their ministries. I had to see young families use the altar because the sin that lieth at the door will destroy their homes. still praying you're going to get the help you need or you're going to go home the way you came fight it yourself next week weary and warm it again, young person.
the client or lift your voice and pray. Pray for these teenagers.